for that. You don't have to worry about that. Anyway, I heard that you can be in any match this coming Sunday. You could be in a ladder match. You could be in a table match, a casket match, a steaming pile of poop match. You don't want that. So I want you to know that if you need my help, just give me a call. A call a cell phone, and I'll be there to help you. Okay? Okay, Mano. Mano, Bruno. Oh, Bruno. Okay. Bruno. I'll see you Sunday. Proso grato. Ero fiso. You got kiku poo poo shoo 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 me. Do right to do the trisa. Well, I certainly do agree with you that yes, power comes in numbers and it's great when friends stick together. But where did he get that faggy hat? Bruso de Futo Walmart Decente 50 Brosato Bruto Kisho Mano Paisa. I don't understand. I shop at Walmart regularly. I've never seen that hat. What I do know is that someone's gonna get a damn pumpkin smashed over their head, aren't they? That is the rule of the match. You see the pumpkin up there on the pole. As soon as you grab that, you need to hit your opponent with it. And here comes a man that strikes fear in all of us. Former Whoa. BWF champion, Shadow. Speak for yourself there, Dave, because he does not strike fear in me. And uh, I'll be honest, Shadow here is walking a little quickly compared to his last, uh, what was that, Battle Royal he came out. He, he took a damn minute and a half to come out to the ring, didn't he? Well, perhaps he had some nagging injuries then that uh, he has finally overcome. And we are happy to have Shadow back here in the BWF. And this should be an interesting match against uh, a legend, so to speak, no, he's Enrico not a legend. Santana. No, he's not a legend. He's a newcomer. It's his first year. That's untrue, JT. I just told you he's a former BWF champion. Rico Santana? No, not Rico Santana. Shadow. Who's Shadow? The guy in the ring wearing all black with all right, the old man for a second, mask. Dave. Why does Shadow look so damn huge? Every time he comes out, he's so damn skinny and he's got that stupid mask on. Right now, he looks like friggin' Brock Lesnar wearing a friggin' black leotard suit. Looks like the Scream guy played by Brock Lesnar. Well, he's just, I guess he's just bulked up a little bit for this match. Oh, but look at that. From the outside, Guns is able to swipe. Shadow's feet from underneath him, and Rico early on has taken control of Shadow with a huge face plant to the mat. Hey, do you think that he wears no shirt just to kind of like creep out his opponents? I mean, I personally wouldn't want to like hug up against a guy with no shirt, you know? Well, when you're in the ring fighting it out, you don't really want to hug JT. You want to fight, and it's exactly what Rico is bringing to Shadow. Is that the pumpkin from the pole? That is not the pumpkin from the pole. The pumpkin is on the pole that you need to grab. If, the, if Shadow or Rico, for that matter, goes through this pumpkin, it will not count as the victory, but it will definitely... Oh, the pumpkin did not break! That's when it hurts the most! My God. Well, I mean, who even cares about the one on the pole if he's got one in the ring already, you know? Like, it's a, a pumpkin is a pumpkin, right? And that is true, but the rules state that you have to grab the pumpkin off of the pole in order to win. Well, you don't actually necessarily need to be the one that grabs it off the pole. You just need to break it over your opponent. You know, dude, I would appreciate it if you stopped putting your hands on my pumpkins right now because it's inappropriate. JT, that is not happening. Stop making people at home believe that it is. Whatever you gotta say to, you know, make yourself feel better. I feel pretty good about it. And Shadow is, uh, regained control here after, uh, mishap by Rico. But Gons from the outside! Disqualified. He should be disqualified. He should be, I agree, but this is BWF, and you really don't know what to expect. Josh Supan, a junior referee here in the BWF, yeah, he junior. still has some uh, rules to learn, but we'll give him some time. You know, I don't want to give him any time. Uh, I think that the management of the BWF should <coughs> have better idea of who is refereeing the matches, because frankly, Shadow should have won this match already. I don't mean to be a dick, but you know. Well, he may win it here as he has taken over the control of this match, and he 
seems to be stalling a little bit here. I don't understand why, because he could probably get the victory right now. But as we know, Shadow always likes to take things a little slow. Who's that skeleton guy hanging around in the background there? Well, I mean, Shadow is kind of covering him up now, but... Shadow now laying the boot down to Rico Santana in the corner. Who's that? Wait a second. That's Joey Paradise's music, isn't it? That is Joey Paradise's music. He's not scheduled to be in this match or in this event at all. Act oh my god! Joey Paradise is the man in the ring. He was wearing Shadow's costume. And Rico realizes Whoa. now, but it may be too late. Is it me or did he just like shed that black costume in like 0.5 seconds? That is impressive. Joey Paradise, former BWF Merton champion, is here in the BWF, and he, we all thought he was Shadow, but... I didn't. I knew it was him to begin with. I just didn't say anything because I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Missing with a clothesline there. Rico comes back with a... Super drop kick to the stomach. Thanks, JT. And Rico now is going for the top. Gone's cheering him on, but here comes Paradise, and he tosses him off the top, and Paradise now going to the outside and up the ladder. What's he setting up for here? Kind of eyeing him out, waiting for him to get up. I don't know if that's a smart idea. It's a very smart idea, if you ask me, in my professional opinion. And there's a clothesline off the top, taking Rico down. Now, do you think at this point in time, does Reno Santana stand a chance in this match? After that low blow, I would say he does, because he has taken suplex. over Joey suplex. Paradise Here now, setting up for a suplex. Oh. Yeah, he drops him over the rope. His Daniel son headband came off there. He's Look tucking at that, Gans now, laying some shots into Paradise. Hey, who's that hoe with the blue hair that just walked by? That's what I want to know. Pico now on the top. What's he setting up for? And a drop kick over the ropes. And David. Yes. David. Is uh, the referee a girl or a boy? He is a boy. Okay, cool. Just making sure. All right. And Rico now. It doesn't seem to face him at all that his opponent turned out not to be the person he thought it was. But Rico said, oh, my God. Joey Paradise gets driven into the mat by that huge move by Rico Santana. Wait a second, you're a play-by-play -play commentary. You can't just call a move a huge move. What All is right. that move called? Well, we'll call it a flipping reverse DDT. Is that alright with you? I, I love that Rico name. Rico now going for the pumpkin, but Paradise is after him. Rico almost has the pumpkin off. He's got it off. Oh, this no. could be Whoa, the end of the... Were, oh. were those guts? Rico oh, no. was the one that grabbed the pumpkin, but Paradise has it. All he has to do is hit him with it, but he misses. Santana now. He didn't really hit him there, so he shouldn't be hurt. Santana is dumping the pumpkin guts on Paradise. Paradise can't be really liking that, but Santana... This match just keeps flipping back and forth. Fourth. Like, Back and forth. Sorry, JT. No, like, that's okay. Uh, you don't have to apologize to me. I make mistakes with my words all the time, Dave. And frankly, uh, I want to see a pumpkin smash like Billy Corgan right now. Oh, my God. There was a modified version of the Simone drop. It was a huge whiplash. <laughs> like this, maneuver. David, David, this is not whiplash. This is Extreme Halloween. And we are going to see a pumpkin smash. It's broken. The match is over, frankly. Paradise is setting Rico up now. This could be the end of the match. Rico coming in with a kick, but he misses. And Paradise has the pumpkin on the head of DDT with the pumpkin. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus, Murphy. Oh. And I guess that uh, Josh Super and the referee has awarded the match. So... Joey Paradise. I fucking hate Josh Supan. He's the worst referee I've ever seen in my life. Paradise now attacking Santana's manager Gans with two tickets to Paradise. And another day to die! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my And that is the end of the match. Joey Paradise, after losing the Marin Championship at the last event, 
has been able to regain himself, and he may be on his way to the top here in the BWF gate.